Well, this sucks. The lamp in my bedroom just burnt out. Does anyone have a spare light? Bulbasaur I could use. <laughs> Bulbasaur. Hey, what's going on, guys? Sunday here, and welcome back to some more Pixelmon. Now, dudes, when we left off, if you remember, you, you can see the gym back there. <laughs> Team Mystic has taken over. <laughs> This episode, as you can see by my house, Craner and Captain Sparkles, it, it, you can just read the signs. They hate my Snorlax, so they changed my house to Team Instinct and Team Valor. Well played, sirs. Anyway, so check this out. In between episodes for like the past week or two, I've been pretty busy. First, check out my inventory. I have a crap ton of items here from killing bosses, uh, finding those little pokeballs that sit on the ground. Look at this. I, I, I don't know what half this crap is. I, <laughs> I have a hyper potion. Uh, hyper potion. I know what that is. I have a crap ton of pokeballs. And also, check this room out back here. My garage. I, he, he, hello, skeleton. Can you, can you please stop? <laughs> there we go. I created this dark garage. I changed out all the windows, all the glass to blackout curtains. So this room is my private grass growing section. <laughs> my private herbs. <laughs> please don't call the cops. So I have all my berries growing back here. I plan on automating all of this soon enough, but uh, okay. What I'm going to do this episode, dudes, it is Monday. We have heard from Kian. He has given us our new challenge. He said we have not until this Thursday, but the following Thursday. Hold on, let me look this up. September the 8th. We have until September the 8th. And what the challenge is, we have to catch any of the starter Pokemon all the hold on let, let me go to this screen here any of these starter Pokemon right here from first gen all the way up to fifth gen we could collect any of these Pokemon and we have until next Thursday to train up three of these starter Pokemon to as strong as possible and then we'll head to the gym and battle it out with three of these starter Pokemon. So let's go ahead. Let me grab one of these. Let's head back to the server. So that's what we're going to be doing this episode. I, I wrote down three Pokemon that I want to catch. Uh, three starters that I want to bring to the gym. So I, I need to find out where they spawn. And I also, if you guys remember, I have this shiny Magikarp. I want to evolve that this episode too. That is going to be sick. Okay. So one of the Pokemon that spawn that I want spawns at the beach. So hold on, let me go to the map. Okay, here's an ocean. We can also find a Lapras here too. So is this a beach? Hold on, F3. Yeah, this is a beach. If you look in the left side. It w Wait, hold on, what is that? Uh, a Marill. No, it, it, really, a level 6 Marill wants to fight me. However the heck you pronounce that. <laughs> Get body slammed, homie. <laughs> Get wrecked. Okay. So the Pokemon I'm looking for, they said it spawns on the beach. Hold on, let me look this up. Yeah, it has an 8% chance to spawn on the beach. A, a cold beach. Uh, 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 yeah, a cold beach at night. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I think that's a starter Pokemon too. Yeah, that is a starter Pokemon. That's the third, uh, the tier three starter Pokemon. Like the third evolution. But he, the what Kian said the rules are, we can only catch the first evolution of the starter. So I actually can't get that. But that's not the Pokemon I'm looking for. Trying to think. Will it actually spawn on a beach? Or only in... On a cold beach. Yeah, I am not seeing this thing anywhere. It must only spawn. I don't know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fly around. I still can catch those other two Pokemon. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to fly around. Look for these other two biomes. Like I said, I need a Extreme Hills and I need a, uh, a forest biome. I think there's a forest biome. Yeah, I'm in a forest biome right now. 
So if I find anything good, I'll cut the recording back on. Let's see if we can catch these three starter Pokemon in one episode. Oh, I think that's one of them. Okay, hold on. Is it? Chimchar, there we go. Oh, hello, little cute Chimchar. Hi. <laughs> And he wants to fight me. Oh, this is so cute. So what I'm gonna do, let's, uh, Chimchar make him yawn. Chimchar! There we go. Uh, don't you attack me for two hit points. Okay. Uh, let's yawn again. Just to make sure he act- Okay, he's, he's asleep now. So what I'm gonna do, let's send out our Scyther. Right? There we go. And then let's false swipe his face. There we go. Okay, let's do it one more time to make sure he's actually sleeping. Uh, okay, there- oh, he's, he woke back up, that's fine. Let's go back to- let's go to Ghastly. And then let's use, uh, uh, Hypnosis to put him to sleep. Did that work? He avoided the attack! Oh, but please! There we go, now he's asleep. Let's go to Bag, Pokeballs, and Ultra Ball. Can we get this first one of three? Our fire type. There we go. Now we have our Chimchar. Okay. So he's currently level 8. Uh, hold on. Let me look this up. He, he evolves into a Monferno at level 14. And then into the final stage, which is the Infernape at level 36. And that's going to be our first Pokemon that we take into the gym battles. And the reason why, I know you guys are thinking, uh, Sunday, why aren't you taking a Charizard? The Infernape has the highest speed stat of all the starter fire Pokemon from 1st gen to 5th gen. Oh, here's another Chimchar. <laughs> I don't want to catch you because look at this. The IV of my current Chimchar is 73%. Pretty insane. And also, the Chimchar has great attack stats, great uh, uh, special attack stats, so hopefully this will be the best fire type. We'll see. Okay. Let's head back out. I need to find... I is this a forest biome? Hold on. Let's hit F3. We're in Extreme Hills. Roof Forest. They can also spawn in Roof Forest, the next uh, starter Pokemon that I'm looking for. Let's run around here for- ooh, an Oddish. No, I don't want an Oddish. I- freaking Oddish, they suck. <laughs> okay, ooh, a Kadabra? Dang it, okay. I'm gonna run around this biome for a while. I wanna find this next Pokemon, because the last Pokemon, the first one that I was looking for on the beach, it's actually a cold beach, or any of the frozen rivers, frozen oceans. Which I have yet to see on this server, so that might take a little bit to find. Oh, here's a chance cube. Okay, and I forgot to tell you guys, if you look at my chance cube currently, it's only tier 3. Apparently, Kian updated the chance cube mod, and it got rid of the tier 4 uh, pendant. So, Kian gave me a tier 3 and s said sorry. <laughs> uh, but at least we, we have a tier 3. It's half as good as the tier 4. <sighs> Let's see how this works. Go, please don't kill me. I a lucky block salute. One is lucky, one is not. <laughs> and you know my rule, I have to open both. Please don't kill me. Inventory b What the heck was that? <laughs> I thought I- it dropped a bunch of crap, I got excited, but it literally took everything out of my inventory and replaced it with dead bushes. <laughs> Let me delete all that crap, good lord, wait- Okay. <laughs> so it did nothing. What? <sighs> Let's keep running around this biome. Let's see if we can find this next Pokemon. Oh, I think these are- Yeah, these are iron ore berry bushes. Nice. We don't have these yet. We can add to our uh, herbal dark room garden. <laughs> Again, please don't call the cops. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay. Oh, I think that's a boss Pokemon. Hold on. Is it yellow? Or is it green? I can't see. Oh, it's green. That's fine. I'll take a green. What boss Pokemon are, like I told you, I think, last episode. Whenever you kill them, 
you they, that's how you get different items oh and there's a chance cube down there too okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna send out my uh my what, what is it called my chimchar chimchar on the boss so he gets experience okay and then let's switch out to snorlax right okay i'm gonna take some damage here that's fine what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna yawn to put him to sleep and then I'm gonna body slam him for damage. Okay, Snorlax, don't die, homie. But rest, rest, Nori. There we go. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, let's get out my magic carp so he gets experience. Okay, there we go. My magic carp might evolve here. Let's go back to my Snorlax. Once he wakes up, I'll be able to take down this boss. Come on, Snorri, wake up, you fatty. <laughs> there we go. My gym char just got 3,000 experience. My magic carp got 4,800. Let's see how many levels we get here. Uh, gym char, nine, level 9, level 10, level 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, magic carp 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, fury swipes. Okay, do I want Fury Swipes? Yeah, and check this out. We got a Dawnstone, an Orb, and an Iron Hammer. And this Orb... I'm pretty- Oh! My Chimchar is evolving! <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see here. He evolves- I forgot what he evolves into. His final evolution is Infernape. And again, guys, I know I'm new to Pokemon. Don't hate too much, be nice. Here we go, okay. He's, uh, uh, Monferno. Nice! And he's sleeping right now. Uh, uh homie? Wait, wake up! <laughs> okay. And again, we have this orb. And speaking of orbs, yeah, that's right, last episode, I won a, uh, an Articuno orb that I need to always have on me. Let me go back home and grab this orb. All right, so there we go. I have the orb of frozen souls. And like I said, apparently, if you take down like 300 and something Pokemon while holding this, you can like do something with it and then it'll give you Articuno. Oh, yes. This is the biome I'm looking for. Cold Beach! Here we go, dudes! I have been flying forever! Look at this! This is where I am! Look at this! And this is my house! <laughs> and I finally found it! That is what I'm talking about! This took for free! And it's- they're seals! H hello, uh, CLO! Whatever the freak you are. Uh, okay, and also, I didn't show you this earlier, but check this out. In between episodes, I killed a boss and got a power weight. What this does, I could put this on my, uh, on my Monferno, and whenever I'm battling Pokemon, this'll give me more HP EV. So I'll have higher HP on this Monferno, and I can swap it out to my other starters also. This thing here, this power weight, is an insane find. Okay, so what I have to do now is wait until nighttime, and then that other Pokemon will come out. It says it has a 24% spawn rate in frozen river biomes. And right here, if you look on the left-hand side, I'm in a frozen river. So I just have to find- oh, there's a chance cube right there! Dang it! I have to get it, it's my rule! Let's get it! I Happy 4th. <laughs> okay, let's stay on this. The frozen river. Oh, is that it? Yes! That's it! <laughs> the Piplup. And I know what you guys are thinking. Sunday, this Pokemon is ne nowhere near as good as uh, Blastoise. But here's the deal, homies. Whenever this thing becomes its final form of uh, Empoleon... Not only is it a water type, it's also a steel type. And this thing, hold on, let, let's first throw our uh, Scyther at this. The steel 
Uh, the steel trait, or whatever, t the steel type, it's resistance against freaking everything. So this Pokemon is gonna be extremely resilient in these PvP fights. Okay, let's put this thing to sleep. Hypnosis. There we go, it's asleep, and it's at one hit point. Let's throw an Ultra Ball at its face. There we go. Come on, Piplup. Join my team. There we go. We have two of our three Pokemon. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's throw down our PC. Let's get this Piplup out in place of, uh, I guess our Ghastly for now. There we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do really quick, let's fly back over to a forest biome. I also want to get four more levels on this shiny Magikarp. I want a shiny Gyarados. That would be sick. Wait, what the crap is this thing? I uh, get out of my face. Don't make me one shot. You get wrecked. Uh, uh wait. Th oh, this is a Pixelmon. It's a shrine. Tile Uno Shrine. The crap is this for the frozen? So the orb is not full. Oh, this is where I get Articuno. You need 372 more KOs for this orb to be full. This is how I get Articuno. Okay. Let me mark this off on the map. Right click. I uh, Articuno. That is awesome. Okay, and here's here's a lucky all right, here's a chance cue. What is this? Uh a fishing rod. Literally a half-broken fishing rod. Pendant? Why did you have to be replaced with a tier three? <laughs> okay. Let's head back home. Let's head back to a forest biome. Let's get that last Pokemon. And let's also uh, evolve our Magikarp. Wait, did you hear that? Hold on. Hold on. I heard, I heard Bulbasaur. Oh, there he is! <laughs> I heard him say it. Listen to him. Listen to how cute he is. I wanna listen. Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. <laughs> okay, here we go. We got ourselves a Bulbasaur. Let's let's throw our. Oh yeah, hold on. What I need to do is I need to get out my Gengar. All not my Gengar, my Ghastly. Yeah, yeah. let's do that for now. All right, Bulbasaur, you're coming with me, homie. <laughs> let's do this. Let's go ahead. Let's false swipe his dome head. There we go. Let's get out our ghastly to put him to sleep. And then let's throw a uh, hypnosis. This will be my third and final starter that we are going to level the absolute crap out of. There we go. He's sleeping. One hit point. Come on, Bulbasaur. Don't fight it. There we go. We now have... Our full squad for the gym. Okay, let me ch let me actually check the IV of this Bulbasaur. So it's got an IV of 52%. That's not bad. My Piplup has a 61%, and my uh my uh and my Monferno has a 73%. Pretty good IVs. So what we're gonna do now? I'm gonna go on a massive training uh, power leveling Pokemon service. What? <laughs> My Magikarp just hit level 20. I think it's gonna ev- There we go. <laughs> My shiny Magikarp laying in the desert is now evolving into a Gyarados. I don't- I don't know what the shiny Gyarados looks like. I'm- I'm interested to see. Look at him. <laughs> okay, here we go. Red? That looks insane! <laughs> Did, didn't Gyarados, didn't you used to be able to fly Gyarados uh, before? Maybe I'm an idiot, I don't know, but this looks sick. We have a red Gyarados. <laughs> okay, let's go back on our power leveling. Oh, our Piplup's evolving! Nice! Okay, I just took down a, like a, a, a Star Raptor for like, it was like level 53. Okay, here we go. He turns into, I forgot. I know his final evolution form is, uh, 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 Emp Empoleon? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Print plop. 
Okay, now this one is still only a water type. It only becomes a water steel type in its final form. Okay, let's keep e let's keep power leveling. Oh, now my bubble sword's evolving. I took down a flygon. Okay, he turns into a uh, ivy so I know bubble sword. Okay, we have our three Pokemon to tier two evolutions. We got a lot of power leveling to do. This is gonna be good. This is a good challenge. Kian gave us a nice challenge this time. This is good. But uh, anyways, dudes, for now, I'm gonna end this here. If you guys still enjoy this series, keep up the support. We'll keep doing this. And uh, yes, also, if you're at all new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And uh, yes, I got some work to do. We'll see you dudes next week.